The Israeli military displayed on Sunday thousands of weapons and equipment it said were seized from Hamas. Ahead of the one-year anniversary of Hamas' October 7 attack, the Israeli army showed thousands of weapons it said were seized from the militant group which were used in Israel during the onslaught as well as others taken during the past year of operations inside Gaza and Lebanon. The military, which created the display at a sprawling army base south of Tel Aviv, said it has retrieved more than 5,000 AK-47 assault rifles from Gaza and destroyed double that number, as well as seized thousands of other items including drones, explosives, RPGs, scuba equipment, machine guns, sniper rifles, anti-tank missiles, and weapons manufactured both inside Gaza as well as in Iran, Russia, and North Korea. The army also displayed homemade explosives it said Hamas used to burst through the border barrier on October 7, which it said were crafted specifically after years of studying Israel's border during years of Hamas-organized violent protests along the fence, including as early as 2018. What Hamas did on October 7 was storm Israel with all their abilities at one time, said Israeli military spokesperson Lt. Col. Nadav Shoshani. He said that the Israeli military had seized the weapons from Hamas and Hezbollah in Lebanon to study the types of weapons used as well as track where they came from. As Israel prepares for a day of somber memorials marking a year since the attacks, the military said it was increasing troop presence in Israel's south to protect memorials taking place along the Gaza border. A large memorial planned by bereaved families was expected to draw a crowd of more than 40,000 in Tel Aviv, but will be broadcast with only direct family members and media in attendance due to warnings from the military of possible rocket attacks from Lebanon. Hamas-led militants killed some 1,200 people in the October 7 attack and took another 250 hostage. They are still holding around 100 captives, a third of whom are believed to be dead. Nearly 42,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza since the start of the war, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. It does not say how many were fighters, but says a little more than half were women and children. This helps the IDF prepare for battle better and learn and study our enemies better. What we put here together is a display of what Hamas used, but this is just a fracture of it. It's examples of what Hamas used on October 7th to carry out uh, uh, the October 7th massacre, the, uh, one of the world's largest terror attacks in history and definitely in Israel's history, the worst terror attack ever. Um, and what we saw here, we saw different types of explosives, uh, RPGs. We saw the different munitions they used. They were ready to um, to infiltrate Israel. They had the right measurements of the Israeli fence. Uh, they had uh, uh, soldiers equipped. They had guns. They had trucks, uh, and they had everything prepared for this terror attack against Israeli civilians. What Hamas did on October 7th was storm Israel with all their abilities at one time. One thing they did is fire rockets uh, north of 3,000 rockets in one day, enormous amounts. Um, 
uh, and also use different types.